Ain't gonna grow with me. Ain't believe in me. So just wait and see. I ain't worried about the company. I ain't worried about the fame. See, I ain't worried about the love. Cause all y'all get that the same. I'm just trying to chase a bag. Good morning, my key babies. You guys, I ain't even gonna lie. It is 11 o'clock, and I have yet to get out my bed when I got 101 things to do today, you guys. But I'm tired. This work week drained me, like, for real. I done lost an employee, got a sick employee. It's just, it was just a long week. I was by myself all week fight through the week like it was just a long week and i slept in because i'm really tired like then we blew me for real I, like i really need a vacation like, i realized that don't nobody else but me not get to call out like i don't get to call out i don't get to be sick i don't get to do none of that because i have to be at work because i'm the manager so it's just a lot man the manager is not for the week i swear but i'm up you guys i guess i'm gonna get up and start handling some of these errands but i'm doing it on my time now i ain't need for the lie so, yeah, let's go. So, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I went back to sleep, but I'm up now. Two, three hours later, I'm up now. So, I got errors to run. Y'all, when I first, my intro video, I recorded, I got up, it was like, I want to say 9 or 10 o'clock. It is now 1 o'clock, and I ain't even left out the house yet. So, let's get ready to go outside, shall we? Today, let me see. That's kind of cute, but my lace ain't been front, so no, not today. <laughs> y'all, I'm so tired. Don't mind me. I'm just as tired as tired gonna get right now. Yeah, I have not recurred my house since this weekend, and I'm so proud of how well this household curved out. They did this for real. I love this one. I have not redid my hair since this weekend. And I love it. I gotta get my wig brush out. Hold on, I'll be right, right back. So I secured my brush. I like the brush from the ends first and then work my way up. That's just a me thing. Y'all, honestly, the truth this weekend, because I did so much last weekend, I don't really have a lot of plans. I'm thinking about having my little brother come over this weekend. Well, not even this weekend, because he not to spend the night type. But have him come over, and we probably go bowling tomorrow. Something cute and simple. I like to brush the inside, too, y'all. But something cute and simple. Nothing too magical, because we overdid it last weekend. And I, I loved it, don't get me wrong. I had a good time, but we were out literally the whole weekend. I'm not feeling this weekend. I don't feel all that hot. Like, I don't feel sick or nothing, but I don't feel, come on, let's go out all weekend either. Like, so, we probably just go bowling tomorrow, something a little simple. Or we might go back to VR, who knows, because my little brother likes stuff like that. So, I don't know yet. Yeah, if you have not been to VR, y'all, y'all really need to go. It was really fun. I do suggest taking at least one person with you that you know. If not, they're going to group you up with a group of people anyway. And, like, it's random. You don't know these people. And, and you have to rely on each other and work together as a real team. It, it really was fun. But I still would take somebody with you that you know. I did not go by myself. So, I would take somebody with you that you know and do it like that. But other than that, it was a real fun experience. It was different. And I loved it. And I don't even like stuff like that. So, yeah. But, anyway, back to what I was saying. So, yeah, we might go to VR again. Who knows? I'll see what the booking look like. For tomorrow, if not, we will do something simple like bowling or something. I'm not sure. Or the movies. I know he probably going to go to the movies. He's going to be like, girl, I can watch movies at home. 
So you know what the fuck? What are I don't know, but y'all, I'm, I just, I be tired. For real. For real, for real. So let me get this together. So I don't know all I'm gonna do for my hair today. Because y'all, this, this hair, I have not curled it all weekend. I love this hair. It's so shake and go, I swear. Like, I have not curled it no more since this weekend. I just wrap it up in my uh silk edge scarf and then I put on my silk bunny and I sleep like a baby and then when I get up in the morning I just brush the curls apart because like it kind of compressed the curls a bit and I just brush the curls apart and boom there it is. It's the look. So I love this hair. This hair is so bomb. It do shed a little bit but like I told y'all what hell don't shed it's not yours. So yes it's gonna be some shed. It's gonna be some shed but it's not a lot of shed like I ain't working through it just oh my god strands of hair. No. And you brush it a lot and you play with it a lot, of course you're gonna get a couple strands. So I love this hair, but this is the look that I'm going for today. I'm just going to run some errands. I gotta go to the job, so I'm gonna get ready to call my Uber and I'm gonna get ready for the carpet DMC today. Alright, y'all, so this is the outfit of the day. Pink tights, pink shirt, black <laughs> black good across. And that's the outfit for the day. I told y'all we keeping it real simple. We just running a cute little few errands. And I'm coming to the house. Like I said, I, I really don't feel good. Like, not like, oh, I'm sick. Don't feel good. Like, I'm just, I'm just drained. I'm just tired. And I just need a break. So, I'm just going to run these few little errands that can't be done other than with me. And then I'm coming back in the house. And I'm probably going to be in the house tomorrow. Hopefully, I feel better tomorrow. But without further ado, y'all, I'll be back once I make the errand number one. All right, you guys, so I came home and got out of bed, y'all. I just ain't feeling too hot like I told y'all earlier. Like, I ain't sick, but I just don't feel like my natural bubbly self. So I'm back in bed, and I went on food, and I'm probably about to go home, just lay here and watch TV and go to sleep. So I'm just not feeling it <laughs> Hopefully oh, tomorrow will be better because, yeah, I'm just, I'm not feeling it today, y'all. So, this is all for today. We'll see what's going on tomorrow. I love you guys. Bye. Good morning, you two, y'all. I still don't feel good. I look like crap right now. And it's okay. I still don't feel good. I just got up. My eyes hurt. My nose hurt. My stomach hurt. I don't know what's going on, but I'm up, ready to carpe deal. See you today. And by see you today, I'll probably end up seizing my bed, y'all. I ain't feeling like a, I don't know what's wrong with me this weekend. I'm just not feeling my best. Like, I don't feel sick. Like, I, I don't know. I just don't feel my best. So, I don't know. I'm going to get it together. But I'm up, you guys. And don't let to come to a sleep on the dream. I hope you guys say hydrated. I love you guys. Welcome to Saturday. And let's see what the day got in store for us today, you guys. Morning, my key babies, y'all. I gotta hold the phone like this because the sun is sunny this morning. So, y'all know I didn't come back yesterday because Friday and Saturday I wasn't really feeling my best. So, I'm feeling a little better today. So, I'm up and I'm walking right now in my little neighborhood to give me a little air. I went to church this morning. So, after church, I started walking y'all on time, <laughs> but it's okay. So, Remember, don't nothing cut so sleep with the journey. Make sure you guys stay hydrated. Make sure you get some water. Y'all, I will be doing a face care routine tonight. You know, because on Sundays, we unwind and we relax and we think about me. Y'all, it's something I heard in church today. He was like, people spend a lot of time loathing themselves and not loving themselves. So I just want to let y'all know to love y'all self and all of that. And all of that, he said that you are wonderfully and beautifully made. And it really stoked me, you guys, because I'm my biggest critic. When I mess up or I don't do stuff as best as I know I can, I take it so, so hard. So I do personally spend a lot of time loathing myself and loving myself. Like, <laughs> it ain't 50-50. It ain't none of that. It's probably about 75-10, 75% loathing, 10% loving because I take so much stuff hard because I'm so used to handling everything on my own. So when stuff don't go right. I get all sick. So, with that being said, going to church. They sometimes y'all, when y'all go to church, it feel like they talking just specifically to you. So this morning, I feel like he was talking specifically to me. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Just trying to chase a bag. I'm just trying to chase a bag.